Welcome to our rehearsal. This is Team Rod Chapter right here. That's Brian doing the camera and all of that stuff. My name is Rod Chapter. We are going to share a certain principle about one bachata step. That is the base of all bachata steps, okay? We call it stationary step, or sometimes uh, one of my instructor, Ellie, calls it in place. But, okay, so all of the steps on stationary are all based on every angle, okay? You're gonna start, it's like a little dot, like a period, okay? But all the steps will be coming from there, whether it's linear, circular, diagonal, square, you name it. But there are certain key principles that needs to be applied when this happens, okay? For example, okay, turn your back, ladies and gentlemen, turn your back right there, okay? Number one principle, weight shifting, okay? Shifting to the left and shifting to the right. Right now we're standing straight, all of us. That means our balance and our weight are 53 from our left to our right. If we were to drop 100%, our weight that is, to the left, let's do that right now. Okay, now I notice that some people try to drop their weight to the left, but yet the hip did not move. Why? Because they cheated. They only bent their knee like this, but nothing happened. It didn't move, okay? So, what I want to do is, not only you shift your weight to the left, I want you to drop your weight to the left. Ready? Go. All right, that's good. Now, stand straight again. We're back to 50, 50, 200 right here, to the left. Good. Now, I want you to shift that weight to the right and drop the weight, ready? And go. Right, so you notice when we shift, okay, the principle of shifting is that when we shift to the left, shift to the left again, you notice our body are a little tilted to the left, if you can see that, okay? That's number one. Number two, our left buttocks, if you call it that, are flex or is flex, okay? Now, let's shift to the right again. Good, now, if you were to feel this, this is flex right now. If it's not flex, then you're doing it wrong. Okay, so that's one, that's two, your knees are bent. Three, your body is tilted to the left a little bit. Let's tilt to the right again. Okay, so you notice that, that many dancers, when they dance bachata, it seems like they're shifting like this. That's really the principle, you, they, they just do it a little quickly. So that's number one principle about stationary steps, okay? The other principle is what we call the bounce, okay? We call it natural bounce, okay? And this is derived from what most Latinos or dancers say we feel the music. It's the same principle when you put on a headphone, you enjoy the music, what happens? You don't even know you're moving your body, you're tapping, or sometimes you're bobbing your head. It's the same way when we dance bachata that we have this natural like this, so, so there's a little bit right here, okay? It's all coming from your knee, okay? It's all coming from your feet. It's not your shoulder going up, okay? So whenever you see really great bachata dancers, they have this certain bounce, okay? So that lies the principle, one of the principles that makes what we call stationary step really good, okay? So we get into the principle number three, which is pushing. Now, it's so misunderstood, but let me illustrate this. Bachata, as we all know, is four steps on each side. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, which emulates the phrase of the music, okay? So, let's tilt to the left, okay? To the right, to the left, to the right, okay? If we were to apply that principle in one, two, three, four, let's do it. So are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Put all of your weight to the left. Now push and let go. Okay. When we mean by push and let go, do not push like this, okay? It's like a gun. You pull the trigger. When you pull the trigger, you don't pull it all the way and stop there. No. 
All right? You just have to trigger the push. Therefore, when you trigger the push, it's like a bullet. The hip will go to where you, you want it to go, if that makes sense, okay? So let's try it again. So we're going to go to the left, to the right, to the left. Put all of your weight there. Push to the right, to the left, to the right, and push to the left, to the right, to the left, and push to the right, to the left. To the right and push. Now, if you were to count this with a music phrase, very simple. And go. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You might have noticed that on principle number two of what we call the bouncing, right? That right there, because we're pushing, and at the same time, we're shifting our weight, you see the natural bounce. So, if we were to do it quickly, and you see the bounce there, okay? Now, let's go back to the principle of pushing, okay? Push, quicker, quicker, just this side, okay? So, you notice when I'm pushing that hip, because all of my weight is there, this can't help but move right here, so I'm just triggering, okay? If I were to do it on the side, same thing. Yeah? Huh? Pickles are doing good? Okay, good. All right. So, now we just have to combine that with one, two, three, four. So, if we were to go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, Four, okay. What principle is that? Fourth already? Now it's the fifth principle. Bending your knee, okay? Your hips are much smoother when they move when you bend your knee, as opposed to versus this, okay? So you notice when our knees are slightly bent, okay? So let's try it again. So we're gonna go and one, two, three, and bounce, and one, two, Three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So you'd notice 